Hey guys, happy November. I just realized that I never started the next video. Um, I have done a little bit of, tiny bit of stitching. Um, I'll show you later. It's, it's nothing to show. I've mostly been knitting because uh, my brain has been too busy to count. Um, but I wanted to give you a little before and after. I'm setting up my next diamond painting, which is this image. But I got this uh, separately, like two orders off Amazon. It is this plastic organizer set. And each of these is like separate five cubes that individually open. So I think this will be good for the diamonds or the drills or I can't remember what they're called. And then I got these stickers, which are the, the numbers because um, diamond painting kits if you didn't know the diamonds are all in DMC numbers we got our 310 do we have any 666 nope lame um but anyway I wanted to do a before and after because I feel like it's gonna look super satisfying when this is all done I'll be right back and we're done oh my gosh I love it it's so much better than all those little bags um of course I had one hey Cindy I had one left, so it's not perfectly even. That's fine. Um, I was thinking, as I was setting this up, this would be amazing for male beads, too. Um, but in here, it says we're all compact. Here's my, uh, like, my legend, my, my symbol chart. But, um, so I'm just going to leave this on the top. And I have my, the canvas on a on a clipboard and I have some needle minders trying to straighten it out um but I realized as I was putting stuff away I have Lisa Frank stickers my Dollar Tree girlies know and I even have the exact I had the exact artwork so it felt it's perfect meant to be okay so I'm probably not gonna start this right now but now we're ready to go so very exciting very exciting I will check back in with some more crafting soon. Okay, happy Wednesday, guys. It is currently November 8th. Um, it is 8 o'clock, and I am just doing a little bit of crafting tonight. I wanted to show you I have been working on my cryptids. Um, on Halloween, actually, I stitched these cute little skulls. Right here and I counted over like I said chupacabra oh, I'm stuck I did I'm doing hey Cindy I'm doing all the 310 so I'm working on this um, like I mentioned then I think in the last clip my brain has just been not in the mood to count I don't know what it is I've really been enjoying and doing a lot of my knitting so I do want to show you my blanket it is looking gorgeous. I love um, the mandala yarn so much. I have a whole corner. It is looking great. Uh, here's the yarn I have left. And then we're done. I have another trip um, up north coming next week. So I will be getting a lot of car knitting in. But, oh, I have a fuzzy. Um, tomorrow I have a bunch of meetings at work that I need to listen to but not participate in well uh, I, I don't know if that's right um you know what I mean I just have like big company-wide meetings I need to hear so I decided I need something for my hands I don't talk about this a lot but I am super uh, ADHD in that I can focus better when I have my hands going Doing something so I pulled out a ball of this crafters secret cotton in this gorgeous print uh, this is turquoise rainbow bridge this is basically Hobby Lobby's um, house version of sugar and cream uh, the lily sugar and cream but anyway I am currently casting on a washcloth um, following a tutorial by the knitting crowd which is Mikey who I 
who also did, did, who also hosts the Crochet Crowd. I'm fairly positive. Um, but I'm casting on Do It Now Knit Textured Dishcloth Tutorial. So I will have something easy to make my hands move tomorrow at my desk that isn't um, my whole big blanket just because of how big it is. But regardless, all of this to say, I am learning a new cast on from him. It's I think he, it's called the Twist and Transfer, and I wanted to show you. So I started this with a slip knot. Okay, this is not. I only knew how to do long tail cast on before this. So. Following his tutorial, you insert the back of your loop, you yarn over, pull through, twist, and you transfer it. It's a little clumsy because I'm trying to make sure I'm in frame. We're going to do this for, I think he said 40 stitches. So this is a cool cast on. Have you guys ever, oh, have you guys ever tried this before? This is my first time using it. So I will let you know if I like it, or how, not if I like it, if it works for me better or worse, then I usually just do a long tail. I'm sure this is killing all of my expert knitters out there, how clumsy I am. But we all start somewhere, and everything I do, I basically have taught myself. Um, I don't really have anyone in my family who... And kind of teach me the intricacies. Uh, I do have a grandmother who taught me how to chain crochet when I was like eight. And my nana tried to teach me to knit a few times. And it just never clicked for me. And now I knit for her. Which is to me a, a sweet turn of life. But anyway, I'm starting a washcloth. This is actually going to be for my nan, probably. Uh, because I think she'll really like this yarn. But anyway, I will be back with you in a little bit. I just wanted to show you this cool new cast on that I just learned. Okay, talk to you soon, my friends. Hello, hello. I'm doing a little sewing. Um, because I need to make some bags. But this is your friendly reminder to always check your bobbin. Don't be like me. Don't not realize the bobbin ran out halfway through. Okay, I'll see you soon, hopefully, with something sewed. Now let's go ahead and pick back up where we were. And here we are. This may actually be the ugliest thing I've ever made, but it has a working zipper, it's lined, and it's big enough to hold my knitting. So yay, we have some fabric out of the stash. Okay, hello, hello, my friends. I think I am in frame all right. We're in a new corner of my house. This is my uh, office slash desk. <laughs> uh, this is where I work. This is where I write. Sometimes I sit here. Sometimes I online shop here. Which, uh, I have a lot of haul to show you guys. Uh, but I wanted to wrap this up for this month because it's December 2nd. And November is over, which means we have to finish the November video. So I did finish the washcloth I showed you guys me casting on. It turned out so cute. Look, oh, I'm stretching it. It's not washed or blocked or anything. And it is cotton, but the pattern, the texture on this, you can't see as well because it's a, the multi yarn. It's so cute. My grandma is gonna love this. So, but I don't know if you can see how it has this really cute ridged texture. Um, this is a free Your Inspirations pattern, and I mentioned as I was casting on, um, there's a video tutorial, so I will link that below, as always. Um, let me think. Oh, also finish. I showed you I was working on my Chupacabra, and he stitched. 
So I finished my goal on this one. He's very cute. Um, I might, I don't know, below him is the Frogman, which I'm excited to do, but I really need to dedicate some time and do border, but that's okay. So after that, I um, was still really feeling knitting. I did not end up doing my socks this month. Uh, November really got away from me. I was traveling uh, a little bit. I was reading a lot and um, I was still enjoying the knitting. So I cast on this, which is going to be a pot holder, I think. It's a washcloth pattern though. Um, I don't know if you can see the basket weave. So I messed up the repeat and did two in a row. So I can't decide if it's worth frogging for a pot holder. But I'm using two balls held together so because I thought this yarn was kind of thin. So I'm using both balls that I had in my stash of the Premier just cotton in the color, I think it's just yellow. Um, so I don't know, I might frog. I don't know. We'll see how ambitious it is. Ambitious I get. With stuff like this, it doesn't matter. I just don't kill yourself over stuff like that. So this is basically my I don't think about it knitting right now. Um, speaking of that, I still have the blanket I'm knitting. It is coming along well. It looks really good. I'm actually going to get that and then I can stand it up and show you at this angle. Okay. It's just right here. I'm back. Okay. So, again, uh, I've talked about yarn for this a million times. I'm sure you're saying it with me. This is all the yarn I have left. So, I've been working on this a lot. It's getting big. So, here we go. So, um, I'm really enjoying working on this. I like the way the yarn is patterning out. Whips. So I pulled out my Mirabilia as I showed you last time. I loved working on this. This was all I wanted to work on. And in fact, all my other plans basically fell by the wayside once I got into this. So I went ahead and I did, oh, let me get my minder out of the way. I did all of her bodice. I went over here and I did a ton of this. And I finished her arm as well. So I'm really excited about that. She was so enjoyable to stitch that she kicked off me being obsessed with Mirabilia's a little bit. And you'll see that in the purchases I'm going to show you at the end. Alright, sorry about, I think I have an angle change. The tripod dropped on me. So hopefully we're good. Um, I was showing you my other whip that I worked on, which was Dimensions Gold Collection. Dimensions Gold Collection, Woodland Winter, and it's looking so good. I love how this is turning out. Um, I did most of this bottom corner. Here, let me put something behind it so you can see better maybe. I did most of this blue. I started my tree, and then I also went up and... Last night I was working on the trees and I did all this. So, it's coming. I love this, this project. Um, it's just beautiful. And I haven't even backstitched it or anything yet and it's gorgeous. So, I definitely want to keep working on this one. But, give you a good look at him. I need to finish, maybe... In December, I'll make a point to finish his antlers. Um, but I pulled this one out because we had our first real snow. So I pulled it out and I did Dimensions Blue Snow. So I know some people have a snow day project. Uh, maybe this will be mine because, man, I love this. I love my Dimensions Gold. And this was really enjoyable. I um, stitch on this while I listen to my audiobooks. I... Uh, just listened to The Hunger Games, which I haven't read since, like, high school, 2009, maybe. Um, and I'm halfway through, 
Catching Fire, which I don't think I ever read, and I never seen um, the movies because I was kind of over it at that point. I was like into Game of Thrones. Anyway, um, I'm reading. Well, I'm li reading. I'm listening uh, to those stories for the first time. They're good. I I'm enjoying them. Um, anyway, those are my whips. Um, that I've worked on. I was almost monogamous. That's crazy. Especially for me, but you guys know how I am. Um, I do, though, have a great big ginormous haul. So if you are interested in watching that, um, please stay and join me for that. Uh, if you don't like to watch haul, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you have an amazing December, and I'll talk to you at the end of the year. But if you would like to see uh, my great big Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday, uh, haul, no, no budget, no guilt, no limit haul, let's go. Um, I'm really excited to show you the cool stuff that I got. So, let me get a sip. Okay. My rainbow mug. So, um... I'm trying to think of some order to do this in. I'm just going to grab. Oh, I'm shaking the tripod. I'm just going to grab. Um, and we'll go from there. So this is a little bit of all of my crafts. I do have another big yarn delivery coming from Lion Brand Yarn. Uh, I did jump on their Black Friday sale. They had uh, $2 skeins. So I got a sweater quantity of Lion Brand Hometown and a sweater quantity of some Lion Brand Homespun. So, you'll get to see me make sweaters in probably 2024. Very excited. Um, I did, on Small Business Saturday, get some digital patterns. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to show those because it's just a lot of editing, and I'm not great at that. Uh, and it's just like a sweater and a couple of cross-stitch patterns. So, I am going to show you all the physical stuff that I now... That I now have. I'm so excited. Okay, so first things first. Uh, I saw this pattern and I just had to have it. Really liked it. Um, I have never seen it before. I saw somebody stitching it and you need it like that. You guys know how it is. So this is Oh Christmas Tree by All Through the Night. Uh, it looks like it's from 2013. So Probably an older one. I can't see it. I'm sorry. So this is on 30 count. It calls for well done threads. I ordered just some variegated DMC. There we go. Oh, that doesn't even really help because of how glossy it is. Oh, you can see my little ring light. Okay. Um, this is going to be gorgeous. It is treaded for 30 count linen, which I actually have a random piece my stash so I now have something to put on it um it calls for Valdani overdyed I'm probably going to use DMC variegated it is what it is okay uh another pattern I got was this one it is a dimensions pattern it's called for animal lovers um northern dignity this was three bucks I could not not buy this. Um, so this is really similar to a kit uh, with a different name. I don't remember. I don't have it. Um, there's a really similar kit as this one, but the animals are in a different order in the kit. In a different order. Like they're in a different lineup. If you have the kit, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but for $3, I. I just got them because I love the artwork of Cross Stitch, so I enjoy collecting it. Um, going off of that, what other? The other pattern I got from Everything Cross Stitch is a Mirabilia pattern. I got Winter Queen by Nora Corbett. She is MD13. I think she is now officially the oldest surviving Mirabilia. Um, yeah, copyright 1995 originally. It's 
the year I was born, so maybe that's lucky for me. Um, she's gorgeous. I think she's really pretty. Um, oh, she's not gonna, they're in focus. Uh, I just, I like this one, and I just have a feeling, because, I think, did Fairy Flora just go out of print? And it was the oldest, so she's next on the chopping block. I don't know, I'm very new to Mira Mirabilia's, so don't take my word for it. Um, I just wanted to make sure I had her. So, speaking of Mirabilia, I got this one, which I got this on eBay, and it was originally in a magazine, I guess. I think it was just cross-stitch. So just cross-stitch, April 2016, she debuted. You can get this one in a chart like this, but she is Queen Anne's Lace. And I saw someone stitching her for Nora, no Nora November, and I, and I had to have her. She's gorgeous. I love those colors. She gives me, like, Marie Antoinette vibes in the best way possible. I love her. Um... And I'm so excited to stitch her because I already have her kitted. So I bought her embellishment pack uh, from some woman on eBay. Uh, because she has Magnifica beads, which I guess they don't make anymore. Except in the packs. Like I said, I, I barely know anything about Mirabilia's. So please do not take my word as gospel. But I couldn't find any place selling Magnifica beads for things um, unless you bought the official Witchelt pack. So it looks like they are having production difficulties. So I, now that kind of also lit a fire under me because I have a very, like, I like Mirabilia designs, but I don't like everyone as an I need to stitch or have all of them, if that makes sense. Um, I have a list that I'm kind of whittling down and I did look and figure out which ones had the Magnifica beads and I'm going to make sure to grab those embellishment packs sooner rather than later. Um, so I have her beads. So I also went ahead and kitted the rest of her up. But I, uh, so she has two water lilies which, wow, these were like seven, eight bucks. Did not know that. Never have used anything like this before. So if you have tips for silk, please let me know. But they're very pretty. This is hand-painted silk, apparently, which makes me nervous to use it. It's 190 Fra Fraises Du Bois and Lemon and Lime. Gorgeous. And then uh, she had Chronic, which is nice and sparkly. Oh. Sparkly. It's pale pink. But I also uh, kitted her up. Well, everything cross stitch carries Sullivan's threads now. So I went ahead and completely kitted her in Sullivan's because I want to try that. They are in DMC numbers. Uh, and they're about half as much as the skin of DMC. These are like 44 cents each. And uh, I ordered with the Black Friday coupon code. So I will say they're very pretty colors. I will say, uh, first impressions, it seems to be a little more matte than DMC. Um, I, I'll be able to give you a better review once I actually use it, which I'm hoping to start her pretty soon, because now I have all of her parts. Um, I also, while I was already ordering, I got my beads for the Feather Fairy, which just called for one. While I was ordering, um, I needed like one thing to get free shipping, so I picked up him, which is one of the newer ones. It is Mill Hill 18 2334 Canada Goose. He's so cute. I'm looking forward to stitching him. I don't see the treasure on the preview. That's very odd. I'm gonna have to investigate and I'll, uh, I'll let you know. I got, oh, from the site that I got the dimensions chart, I got two pieces of hand dyed Ada um, and hand dyes by Jim. I think the shop name was Needlework with Jim. Yeah, I'm looking at my receipts right there. 
So this is 14 count Ada in hand dyed cinnamon roll. I think this is a 10 by 10 cut. And then I also got 14 count Winter Winds. So these are great. Um, like I said, I got a few charts, PDF charts, and I specifically picked those out for. Um, I went and shopped at Mary Stocking and I got Liberty Panda and I got uh, Hello Panda, which I think was the first one they did like last this January so I picked him instead of the Santa panda because I figured I could leave him up all winter so maybe I'll do him for December okay um I also got I had been looking for this for a long time Bent Creek candy corn of mischief he's really cute I'm really excited to stitch him he is on 20 count linen over two and you use the big fat pearl cotton so that should be fun okay um I have some more kits I got these off eBay um, once I saw them I I just really wanted to make these so I have blessed Mary Joseph and baby Jesus and you make a little nativity 3d nativity and they're not huge, so 2.5, which is probably Jesus, to 7 inches high, which is Joseph, probably. So, a brand new kit that comes with Ada, and then it also has, like, a backing muslin. And then, uh, this was a bundle. I got both of these for, like, 15 bucks. Uh, the manger animals came with it, which I really like the donkey. He's cute. And they have the same... We have filament, floss. I like Jan, Jan Lynn charting, so um, I'm gonna start these in December. At least I'm gonna at least do Baby Jesus. Um, it looks like from my searching that there is also a third kit that has the uh, Wise Men, but I don't have that one yet. I'm not sure if I need it. We'll see. And I did get some more charts, so this was also another eBay bundle, um, but. I got it into my head that I just really needed this one, which is Feathers and Friends. It's a Butternut Road um, by Marilyn Levitt Embalm, which if you didn't know, so Butternut Road and Lavender and Lace are both designed by Marilyn, um, and she is Nora Corbett's mother. Um, she, she was. She has passed away now. Uh, but she's Nora Corbett's mom, and that's kind of, I think, how Nora got into designing cross-stitch. Uh, because the Lavender and Lace brand has a lot of angels and Victorian ladies and things like that. If you like stitching ladies, you might want to go back and look. I think most of these are still in print, um, but they're easy to find. So, also in Butternut Road, I in the bundle, was... Christmas visit, which I like her. She's pretty. I've tried to buy her before and somebody sniped me at the last minute. Um, and then I had never heard of, I've never heard of this designer, Vera Klein, and it's Vera K Enterprises Heirloom Samplers, which we know I'm not really a sampler girl, but this one is gorgeous and it's not like and it's not like a, a traditional sampler like see I'm not about doing the alphabets to be honest with you but this one is gorgeous antique beautiful and it says without dew and light flowers fade charity and love are the dew and light of the human heart she's cute I actually might stitch this uh, I it was hard to see this one in the bundle picture and to be honest I wanted my, my girl with the geese um, but now I'm, that I have these in my hand, I really like this one. Okay, so last two things. I got a, I went back to my shop, Get Crafty, in Everett, Michigan, and I bought myself some wool. This is Cascade Yarns 220 Superwash Wool. It's 100% Superwash. Um, it's Superwash Wave. This is the color. 
113 and I think it was called Unicorn or something. Uh, it's not printed on the tag. It's a medium four. Which, this is a Hank, so I don't know how to work with these. So I guess I have to get a Swift now. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. Um, and then lastly, while I was in there, I got a Fat Quarter because they had Loon fabrics. And I love a Loon. The bird. And they're very cute. And maybe I can make a bag for my Loon. Uh, my Loon Cross Stitch Project, which is by Crossed Wings Collection. Can't believe I remembered that. Okay, that's my great big no guilt, no budget, no holds haul. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in a month. And I hope you are having a great December so far. I hope you have a Happy holidays, and I hope you are all staying safe and taking care of yourself out there. Bye for now.